So the college at MIT did a lot of studies on what they call ballistic transfer effect. Think of it like a bullet. You want the gauge of the uh, barrel, let's just say it's a 45, to be rifled through that without any interference from the barrel itself. You, any imperfections, dirt, if the barrel's not exactly rifled straight, will have an effect, even a dangerous effect, on the performance of that weapon. Think of a signal the same way. We want to drive signal through a conductor ballistically, where the conductor almost has no effect. And MIT, believe it or not, came up with three criteria, and audience has been following these criteria for years. And the first one's heat. When you have anything that heats up, you have what they call electron scatter. And that's what we're trying to eliminate with ballistic transfer effect. The second prong was small diameter. Audience has always been a fan of small diameter. Where you started thinking of large, big diameter cables was really an 80s paradigm where you had very inefficient speakers and very big, powerful amplifiers. You could almost weld with them. And the reason they had to build these amplifiers so powerfully was because of the speakers were so hard to drive. That doesn't exist anymore. We're driving speakers now with five, 10 watts. So let's take that old analogy of the faucet pouring. You don't want a little pipe and all this power. Well, you don't want the opposite either. You don't want to trickle and a big pipe because you'll have loss of linearity, loss of what they call propagation pressure and electron scatter. Think of a big pipe and a little trickle of water. You'll have electron scatter. The third is the purity. Just like a barrel and a projectile, any imperfections in that, it may go through, but it would have to go by. And that is what we call equilibrium in signal transfer. Let's take OFC copper, where it may have hundreds of crystalline junctures, even if it's high purity copper. We use copper that will have single crystal, almost a pure conductor of signal, trying to get the most linear ballistic effect possible. So MIT actually came up with these three-prong test of what they call ballistic transfer effect, come to find out audience has been doing two of those three prongs since our inception. <laughs>